Hey everybody, Jessica here, and I'm going to show you a slightly different technique um, which involves using Photoshop to the Photoshop blend tool or the mixer tool to create some cool effects. So I'm going to do something a little bit different to start off with. I'm actually going to take one of my colorizer, the simple version of the brush, and I'm going to brush some strokes here and kind of make something looking a little bit like a tulip shape. So we'll just have a little fun here and just layer these strokes and it's not filled in it's just strokes but it doesn't matter and that looks kind of cool except I'm going to flip this around like that and I think that looks ni nicer so I've got that there and I'm actually going to go ahead and lock that layer so it's a little bit easier for me and now I'm going to take this brush and I want to um, do some layers on top of that so I'll Make sure I'm on another layer above it. And first off, I'm just going to start off with selecting this brush. And I'm going to paint a stroke vertically. And it's not going to look very good, but you'll see what I'll do here. So what I'm going to do is select that stroke. And I'm actually going to change the profile width up here so that it's pointed at both ends. So I like that a lot. And I'm going to just maybe make it a little bit smaller or find a size that I'm happy with that I think that I can work with. And so this is my um, my master over here. So I'm just going to touch this and then the next brush will look just like that. So I'm going to add a few strokes onto this tulip sort of shape here. And there we go. And now these are a little bit fat for me so I might take my width tool and narrow that one, narrow them down just a touch. So I can do the same thing over here and here in the middle. So you don't have to be committed. Um, you can also change it as you go. So this is the basis for my flower here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock that and I'm going to select the base. And now I prefer to work in Photoshop because the real thing is for me to lay down these why I like to use this in Illustrator is I use these as part of my work, but it's not my entire workflow. So I work a lot in Photoshop. So I'm going to select this back part. I'm going to copy it, pop over to Photoshop, and I'm going to paste it as a smart object. You can paste it as rasters um, as well if you want. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select these three shapes together. I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste them over here in Photoshop. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And they're nice and big. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and just set them here. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to recolorize these in different colors. So I'm going to go over to my effects and I've already loaded my add-on style. So I'll take here the darkening color and that gives me a start. And then I'll just go through and change my color to something that I want that I think will look good. And I want to do it kind of a pink against that ready pink color. So I like that, but I'm going to turn off this darkness here and even maybe take down some of this darkness. So you've got this cool like red and pink sort of combination and I'll click OK. And so then I'll, let's here, I'll zoom out just a little bit. Now I'm going to add another layer above this and this is going to be my blend layer. And I've got a mixer brush tool. This is the Photoshop mixer brush and I believe this is one of the default mixer brushes. And I'll probably include this in my um, kit here, but I'm using the Fan Flat Blender. And uh, this is just the mixer brush tool. And I have it checked on sample all layers. That's very key. So now what I'm going to do is kind of just have some fun here and blend this together a little bit to create a cool painterly effect and not have such a difference between the strokes and the solid color. Now, um, one thing that I want to do is I want to turn off my background layer because I don't want to pick up any of that white because it's going to get into your design here. So I'm going to go into my clean layer on top and then I'll just use the mixer brush. You know, you can undo it if you like. You kind of mix up. Kind of have some fun here. Blend it a little bit. I'll blend over on this side a little bit and kind of just having fun. Pull those colors together and uh, it's cool because you're working on a separate layer, so if you don't like it, you can just um, just start again or whatever. But it's the idea is to blend these together 
and create some cool effects. So, and kind of blend, pull that color in there. So you've just got this real working together of these colors and you really didn't have to do much. And you've got these really nice sort of effects from that brush that would be, you know, a real pain to try to do on your own. So I'm going to feather this out just a little bit. And all I'm doing is just pulling color. But because I had these brushes to start with, you've got those really beautiful gradients there that look like you took a ton of work, but they're, you know, they really weren't that difficult um, if you, you know, you realize it. So I'm just going to kind of keep playing with this. So that looks pretty cool. I mean, it's not perfect, but whatever. I'm just uh, doing a demo here, so not a big deal. But you can play with it until you're happy. But it's kind of tulip-like, so that's, um, you know, a little sample of working with the blend tool. And what also is cool is I could take this, you know, I could take this back into um, Illustrator and add a, or even in Photoshop and add, you know, a stem and some leaves and make this into a, like, a cool abstract tulip. I'm actually going to take these layers, select them, group them together, and I'm going to do something different though. So that's just, you know, you can imagine that can go and be a tulip, whatever, if I wanted to continue working on it. But I'm actually going to take this group and drag it as a graphics onto my um, Creative Cloud library. And then I want to open it up in Illustrator and do something else too. So let's just move these down over here. And I'm going to open my Creative Cloud library and grab the latest one. So I'll just grab it here and drop it in. And I think I might resize it just a little bit. But as you can see, you know, you've got the, that cool painterly sort of effect. And then what's cool is, you know, you can take this in Illustrator and then copy and paste it and rotate it and create it, turn it into another, a different kind of flower. So. I've got this, I'm going to just, um, I'll go ahead and embed it. Actually, yeah, embed it there, click OK. And it's got a high DPI, so I might go and rasterize this so that it goes down to 300, because I don't really need it any bigger than that. So I'm going to take this, and I will take my Rotate tool, click Option, and touch down here so it rotates around the center spot. And I'm going to, let's put a 60 degree, and let's preview that. Oh, so let's try that copy, that looks cool. So I'm gonna hit Command D and duplicate this a few times. That looks good. So there we have um, this really awesome flower in Illustrator you know, kind of juggling back and forth between, but it looks like you painted, it looks so complicated, it looks like, you know, really awesome, but it really wasn't that, you know, much of an effort. And one thing that you can go above and beyond is I'll select all these, I'll copy it, you can put it in your, um, you can transfer it via Creator, uh, the Creative Cloud Library if you like as well. Um, I'm just going to copy and paste it over here into Photoshop. So let's hit paste and just gonna make that down a little bit I think it looks really cool but I might add another layer on top of it and like a create a blank layer turn off the background and I just might blend this a little bit more with my blend tool so it just looks really um, very painterly and let's see here let's just blend in some of these little Side, the leaf things. I think that looks really cool. It looks really, literally painterly, and I'm all about just sort of faking it, you know? It's like what I love taking all these little shortcuts to make um, things that look like they're really complicated, um, like you took tons of time, but they, but you were, you know, that you really didn't. So I might um, let's just blend this in so we don't have this hole here in the center. And I think I'll add one other layer and I just might add a little bit of like a little bit of a center so I'm going to take my brush tool let's pick a red here and I'm just going to add a little bit of well that's too big let me take another one of my brush tools there 
and let's just add some little dots in the center or something. You don't really have to add these, but just to give you a little idea. Um, I'm going to add those, and I think I'll add one of my, my glitter styles or one of the styles from my creator, uh, Creative Couture collection. So I could just fly through here until I see something I like. I like that lightly encrusted, so that looks good. It's kind of just a um, little subtle, or maybe I might, hmm, that white's kind of nice. Oh, there we go. We'll go with, a, we'll go with one of the glitters. But anyway, you can pick whatever you like. But that is um, a demo on how to kind of embrace this brush, brush, brush technology, kind of cheat a little bit, and create some really amazing things that you didn't really think that you could make. And it's like, and it looks really painterly. This is not using Illustrator, and it's like sometimes when you use Illustrator, it's so cold. Um, the vectors, you know, it doesn't really look very painterly, but using these image brushes and kind of having fun going back and forth for, from Photoshop, you can harness the best of both technologies and create things that are really cool and really fun and just have a lot of fun with us. So hopefully you enjoyed that demo and um, I'll try to add some more.